Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at how I've completed this horse from start to finish. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to see what I have for sale, you can check me out on Etsy and you can add me on Insta. In the description below, I'll put a list of the paper and pencils that I've used. So let's get started. So to begin with, I got this reference photo from Pixabay and I'll put a link in the description below if you would like to attempt a piece like this. If you do, as always, let me know on Instagram or contact me to let me know because I would love to see how it turns out. So with a piece like this, I always start with the eye. So going in with the dark CPR really lightly around the outside to map in the shape of the eye. And then I go in with a light base of the warm grey one, pretty much all over the whole thing, except I do preserve the highlights with the Holbein soft white pencil. Any soft waxy pencil is good for this sort of thing. And then I just start to build in some of the colours that I can see. So in this eye there are many different colours, so there's yellows, oranges, purples, blues, a little bit of green, um, brown colours. So I went in and wanted to make it really nice and colourful because I wanted it to be the main point and the main thing that you sort of look at when you're looking at the horse. So one of the main things that I wanted to focus on in this piece is the brown hair. Brown is very difficult. I think white and black hair sort of has less colours in it and isn't as hard to render and blend rather than brown hair because there is so much colour underneath the brown that you can see definitely in the reference photo. So for the base colours I use the warm grey one, the ivory and the beige red. So putting all of these together sort of gives you a like peachy tone and sets a really good undertone for the brown sections. And then looking at the reference photo where you can see blue colours, I'd add in some of the cobalt um, blue greenish or the sky blue. And then in the yellow sections, I would add the green gold or dark Naples ochre. Where there are more orange sections, I would use the burnt ochre, terracotta and sanguine colours. And then once you have the base colours down and the mid tones down, then you can start to darken it up with the browner colours. So I use the burnt umber, burnt sienna, dark sepia, warm greys as well, so like a warm grey six, and use these by adding in the really small hair strokes that you can see over the base colours that you've already put down. And as you start to put those in, you can then glaze over again with the blue, yellow, orange colours that you can see underneath. And then I use some of the violet in all of the shadows to make it sort of a more of a grey scale effect, because if you put orange and purple together it sort of makes like a grayscale effect and they are complementary colors so they work really well together so putting some purple in with orange hair and fur is um, very complementary and it makes it look more alive rather than making it look muddy and very flat so for the white on the top of the head I used a lot of the warm grey one in this so I went over with a base layer just in the direction that you can see the fur going and then also use the warm grey one harder to put in some fur lines that I could see. Started to darken it up with a little bit of the light Naples ochre because there's a little bit of yellow in there. Also some of the ivory, a little bit of the beige red coming closer to the nose and also some warm grey too to darken it up. And on the right hand side and also the left hand side I started to add in some of the burnt umber really lightly so it looks like the darker fur is going into the lighter fur and they're sort of blended in so it's not just a stark line from light to dark. So then for the velvety nose I used the warm grey one ivory beige red really lightly again so the same colours as I use for the brown fur as well. I also went in with the white Holbein pencil and put down some wax resist over those colors just so I would keep those sort of wrinkles on the nose nice and white in the sections that they're meant to be and then I started to add in some of the nougat just really really lightly over the pink tones to darken up the shadows a little bit and then I'm going to use some of the violet to darken some of the areas and then started to just go over again with the same colors so like the warm gray one the beige and the ivory so just building up those tones really really slightly and then adding in a couple of shadows here and there for the whiskers and the hairs around the face I did use an embossing tool just to make sure that I kept those nice white wispy bits and then when it came to the neck where it's the darkest section so right underneath his chin and underneath his cheek is very very dark so what I did was go in with some 
colors of the warm gray one, sky blue, dark sepia, burnt umber, and I use some of the Payne's gray as well, so that's sort of like a blue gray color. Added in some of the orange and yellow tones where you can see on the right hand side of the neck and then I went in with my Zestit pencil blender just with a brush and went over the color that I would put down and then went waited for that to dry and then go over again with the color so if you haven't seen the Zestit pencil blend I recommend that you ch check out my bat tutorial or my flamingo tutorial I use those in great detail and explain the product a little bit more it just blends all the pencil together and makes it look all smooth and then once you go over it again with your pencil it's like there isn't any color on the page and you can add a lot more layers over the top and I find that it just smooths it all together especially when you're trying to get really dark colors like the black and the browns because they are really hard to get on very white paper so this is the final result I really hope that you like this video remember to give it a like and subscribe and let me know if you've attempted a horse like this I'll see you in the next video guys keep drawing bye